Hello guys, here's a new one for hard surface modeling, this time with FreeCAD and Blender. As you know, we created this part here in FreeCAD and the goal is now to export it to Blender and be able to render it with a good shading. So the first idea is to select the part, then go to File, Export, STL. And you see I already exported one, so I export again and override the file. Like that, and then I open Blender. This is version 3.0 alpha, but you can use 2.8 or 2.9 as well. And then I go to File, Import, STL. And then we can open the file that we exported. But you see the shading is flat, it looks a bit edgy. So we can optimize it a bit, we can add a bevel. You can use my JMesh Tools add-on if you like, it's free. To do that, open the JMesh panel and press the bevel button. And then you see it adds a bevel and a weighted normals modifier. When you open here the modifier panel. And this already looks quite good, but then I add a shiny metal material. A very simple principled shader. And then I switch the viewport shading to material preview. And you can notice that we have quite a few shading issues. It isn't all bad, but we want to have it a bit more clean. So let's find a better solution. I'm removing this model now and then I switch back to FreeCAD. So we found out that exporting the part as is doesn't work. So I open the workbench Mesh Design now. Because in this workbench we can go to Meshes and create a mesh from the selected shape. Then you find here in the panel on the left side some options to create the mesh, but I don't go into the details here. We're going to use the default ones. With one exception, I increase the surface deviation because I don't want the mesh to be too dense. Of course I tested this before and I got quite good results using this value. Then I press OK and the mesh is created. Here we have it, it overlaps with the other part, but select it and press space to hide it. When you have a closer look at the mesh, you can see the polygons, but you can also turn to the wireframe mode. You find the button here in the toolbar, this one, then you see the mesh. And I know it is quite dense. Okay, so let's go ahead and export this again as STL. In this workbench, you can right click the mesh and then choose export mesh. Then I override the existing file, so press the save button. Yeah, and then again the same procedure, I open Blender and go to File, Import, STL. Right, and this looks pretty crisp. I tab into Edit Mode, where you can see the mesh. And let's have a look at the statistics, just to see the poly count. Well, we have about 9000 vertices, which isn't that high, but I will again add a bevel to make it look even more smooth. That looks nice, then I close it, and of course this cranks up the resolution again. Anyway, looks good so far, and like before I assign the steel material, and then we get a pretty nice shading look at this. No artifacts anymore, but of course the mesh has a higher resolution. So what is it for? It's great for rendering a scene for example here in Blender, but it has too many vertices to use it for example in a game. But even for rendering, let's suppose we have quite a few of these meshes in a scene, then perhaps you want to optimize the mesh a bit. So select all in edit mode and search for trees to quartz, so we get quartz where possible. And then I snap to top autographic, go to edit mode and face selection and select these faces here. Just control left click to select the ring. Great. Okay, then I change to edge selection and press control and the X key to dissolve the edges. Okay, and now you tell me, hey Jay, these are N-gons, these are bad. And again, I say no, just care for the shading. Alright, but stuff like that you have to fix, I go to Vertex Selection, select these two vertices, press J to join, and then this one and Ctrl and X to dissolve. 
And as you can see, the shading is alright. Okay guys, I hope you liked the tutorial and the tips. If you do, then subscribe to JNM if you haven't already. And also follow me on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram. If you have any questions, add these to the comments. Support me as my patron or channel member. And I'll see you in the next one.